So, there's only about one guy that has made a PC Quest freaking thing for Hue Sliders, and I'm amazed because I, I was guessing this was going to be a big thing, but it wasn't. So, I guess I'm, I'm going to be the second. Alright, so you're going to want to find your material. And you have to click color adjust and then hue. It'll be like a little slider. But we don't need to mess with it yet. Go to your animator, wherever the hell it is. And I'm going to create a layer first. I'm going to name it DC hue because, well, you know. Okay, now uh, I'm going to put the weight to one and create a layer or no um parameter two make it a float uh, boom all right um this is pretty much all set up except for the animation so i'm gonna create a new pc hue of course if this isn't popping up, put uh, your controller in, uh, the same one that your FX is using. Have it selected and then hit record. Uh, for all of these, uh, you don't have to make specific ones for every mesh, like sphere and body. You can do it all in one. But basically, just go like this Drag it a little, go to zero, and then I'm gonna go to, uh, let's go to five seconds for this. So I can at least see that it is working. And yeah, okay, this is recorded. So that should be good. I'm gonna do it just in case. Okay. Those were the only things that I had you might have more uh, just click down on all of them and then you now go ahead and change all their things they should just all pop up but anyway uh, I'm gonna go back to my animator it this should have popped up unless you put it in like an animator thing just drag it in screw these things just click this and then PC hue the thing that you made in parameters all right, next, I'll take put that in animations. Next, you want to go to your parameter menu. Easy as crap in the world. Literally just boom, done. Make it a float. And then go to your menu. And then edit a controller too. I'm going to put a hue because I'll have two. I'll have to just replace. I'll go radial puppet and then PC hue. The quest version is the same way. All you have to do is just keep this and then just change it out. Uh, that's how I usually do it. But that is about it. There is one other way to test it, but how I like to test it is uh, this little thingy. I freaking love it. I'll have it in the description uh, somewhere. All you do is install it and luma should pop up uh just go to tools and then enable it and that should be it just click play now if i go if i click on this go to the gesture wheel should be there you go uh that's about it for the pc one all right moving on the quest okay for quest it's a little different mostly all the animation and animator things are the same but for materials it is completely different mostly every avatar that everybody uses they all use pyomi but you can't actually use pyomi for quest the shaders that you're going to want to use is standard light. I wouldn't do it right now, but uh, later on when you do the whole quest port, 
but basically some like this red is actually too dark for the quest version you don't have to like see if it like fucks up for you because it did for me you're gonna have to do it as a brighter color if you don't have a brighter color just make another material instead of doing the whole quest board thing and then just put it on and i'll probably have to change the pants because it's not going to work at all uh yeah okay so my pants are too dark backpack should be fine but i'm gonna make new materials anyway for all of them so I'm, uh, let's make some materials Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is change it to VR chat mobile standard light, and we're just gonna change them all to standard light. So let me do that. Okay, so it's an easy drag in, drop out. My shirt is the concrete, so. I'll just put this in and it will look completely like dark. It won't do anything. So you have to put it in emissions and turn that on. Put this to all the way red. Uh, you could do whatever, but red is a good color for changing it all the way. So let me do it for all of these and then on to the next one. Okay, now that that's done, uh, I'm going to make a quest board. You don't have to put the things on, but for my sake, I'm gonna. You can just quest board it and then drag the materials on, but it doesn't really matter to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go quest, go here, and then convert. Okay, so if you do have a fizz bones thing on here, by the way, uh, you'll have to remove some fizz bones, of course. You could do whatever. Sometimes when you do upload the thing, the hair won't work. So just to let you know, all you do to fix that is you do it in the armature manually. So we have the quest port now. Let me unpack it and drag the things that I made for this. Okay, now mine kind of looks silly, so I might want to change the colors later on, but for this sake, I'll just keep it like this. So uh, I'll go to animator again and Create a new layer. And of course, I'll name it. Oh shoot, not freaking PC. Quest you. Uh, just keep it like this. Put the white. Oh, it is. And then go to your parameters in here, and then create another float. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to my animations again. Click on this. Uh, remember, if this doesn't show up, just put your FX thing in here from where this is and create clip.
Okay. Just hit record. And select the thing that you want to do. So let me do this shirt. Click on the emission one and just move it a tiny bit up and then just bring it back. Uh, I have it on HSV. It's going to look different on RGBs, but uh, back out of that, go to five and then go back to it and type in plus 45 and then control C the bastard. And then just do this to get 35 and at the end you'll have to just drag it yourself okay so this is what I mean by don't plus 45 this there isn't enough so it won't do it I mean, it did for me, but usually it just goes back to zero. So just pull that all the way. If you have more than just one material, do it with all of them. But for me, it is synced up. As you can see, the backpack is also changing color. Now I'll stop recording uh, and the preview and I'll go back to the animator drag your little animation into this turn the motion time on put quest you drag this to my animations it's not my materials go to your menu parameters and then I click add. I'll put maybe the same thing you did in well parameters, of course. And then you're pretty much done with that. Go to your menu, and instead of making a new hue, you can a uh, quest hue and then this, but you can do just one. It will sync up with both. Just do this, and then click play. And how to do this is emulator control. Uh, it's in the description. Just click on tools, enable this. Now I'm gonna click on this, go to the gesture wheel, click hue. And there you go. It should work for Quest. All you need to do is change the version of the uh, the Unity to Android. Let me end this. And yeah, that's about it. Let me make a backup and thanks for watching.